Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Franco Tanelli and this is Science of Singing and I'm answering one of your letters. So, here's the letter. Dear Franco, I studied with two teachers and both of them were saying natural, natural meaning natural breathing and natural placement. Can you comment on it? With all my pleasure. First of all, beware of the term natural because it's a highly relative term. What is natural to me is not natural to you. What is natural for this particular style will not be natural for another style. When my first teacher, Gennaro Curci, approached the subject of breathing, he said it should be as natural as possible. Since I showed no initial signs of difficulties, he did not dwell on the subject. But what only surfaced to get me through the first seven years? If you sing freely, beautifully, Mozart, this is just an example, and then you move to Verdi, your natural singing will turn into a strengthful singing. Everything is very relative. Why you should be aware? Because, first of all, I personally think when somebody says or expresses or explains things by saying, oh, this is natural, this is just an excuse not to explain or inability to explain. Pavarotti well noted that moment when he was explaining a Julia masterclass when he showed people how to make their way through passaggio and connect it and beautifully. He said, well, it's naturally, after 20 years. <laughs> So, don't be naive and be intelligent. When a teacher tells you that you have to be natural, this is maybe clear into his head, but it's not clear for you. Definitely, it won't be clear until you get this natural thing into you. Natural usually means easy. Natural breathing, again, you might have a good natural given you from, by nature, good supporting breathing. Some people do breathe correctly and most of them don't. So let's say you might be easy with this breathing and you never had really problems when you were a student. That is very natural to you. So you have to be aware of this term and you have to understand if somebody fails to explain you the mechanism of a particular movement, try to ask him again what he means by natural. And if you feel that person, and you know, teachers might not understand necessarily that what he's saying is so obvious to him. It means like for some people it's so obvious, you know, so this is natural. I mean, what do you mean by it? They cannot explain it, that's natural for him, but it doesn't mean it's natural for you. And since you're starting from this particular person, okay, you're not him. What was natural for him or for her might not be natural for you. That's why you have to really understand how relative this term is and try not to use it yourself. But you can say it's natural to me. That would be the honest way to express your naturality. If the performing artist has the right to explain his way as natural, teacher doesn't have such a right. What natural means? Natural means uh, coming from the nature. It means, let's say, natural beauty. What you have, let's say, a beautiful girl was born and she's like, you know, beautiful girl. She has a beauty by nature. And let's say somebody who was not beautiful, not to this parent's eyes, but uh, to the objective world, after a while they realized they actually work on themselves, especially women, they made themselves beautiful. Because uh, it's also possible through understanding your nature, what I find uh, Barbara Streisand, who's a beautiful woman, though objectively if you look at her features of her face, you might say, wow, how can you find her beautiful? Because for me, the cute, simpatico and beautiful is always connected. Whether you will have a dull beauty, which is static, or you have a real beauty, which is always changes itself. Like in any type of beauty, voice beauty can be static and dynamic. One may have extremely beautiful but inexpressive instrument, or not so beautiful but very expressive. like in uh, Barbara Streisand's case. Because of most of your students are shy to approach and ask a second question, 
Because again, what I'm saying is that, well, it's natural. It's an excuse not to explain. That's all. Inability to explain, or laziness to explain, or whatever. Because the world itself is natural. Imagine that if I taught my students like this. I come, I show my students whatever I can do, and he looks at me and he says, Wow, you have a great breathing. How can you uh, sing such long notes? Well, I say, well, this is natural. It's natural. Then what it makes for the student? Well, it's natural, but I should have be more specific. Oh, this is natural for me because after 25 years of learning how to sing, I finally came to this position which is the most easy and with, with years, of course, with support in my muscle, working correctly and building up. Now I have a natural voice. I can do anything with it. This is what nature is. But when I'm talking to a student or somebody who asks me for a consultation, the natural is an excuse not to explain. Thank you very much and until next time.